Greetings, mortals. It is War Cry weekend, and War Cry is here. I thought before I tried any other kind of video, uh, I'd try to do like a, a smaller unboxing, see how it went. Um, but in general, wanted to share my excitement at seeing these things uh, for the first time with you. So, uh, the first uh, box that I'm taking a look at is the War Cry Cypher Lords box. Now, what's really cool about these boxes is similar to the 40k kill team. You're going to be able to see these on the shelf uh, from across the room with this uh, striking red uh, branding, etc. And these uh, gorgeous action shots. So this is really cool. Um, really the kind of the evolution of Games Workshop packaging design over the last five years uh, with AOS, etc. So just, yeah, real excited for them. Uh, this Warband isn't wasn't initially my first choice. This was the last warband that was revealed. And uh, these helmets and heads um, have, a, have you know, are kind of divisive, whether some people like it or not. Um, so I've got, I uh, want to take a look in here. I want to get a couple of things uh, kind of clipped off the sprue. And then I want to do a couple of kind of head swap tests and see what I like. So uh, let's open it up. All right, inside we have some bases. Uh, we've likely got 32, 24, and we've got some, looks like we do have some 28 millimeter in here. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing which ones are which. We've got three sprues. Well, one long one and, and one short one, but uh, I think it's pretty clear that this was all one piece together. So, uh, yeah, we've got three sprues. And actually, if we look at the back of the Warcry box, we will see that uh, it looks like we're going to have eight models in the box. We're going to have one, two mirror blades with the long uh, kind of glaive. We'll have one mirror, mirror blade with two swords. Um, and potentially, it uh, looks like, I don't know if we've got some alternate, uh, or this one looks like it's connected to this. We've got three mind bound in kind of different poses. We've got illuminate and we've got a thrall master. And the thrall master I know has uh, some really cool, interesting pieces uh, that we'll get to, to see a little bit of. Um, so eight models in the box and they all come on these three sprues which is pretty amazing how uh, jam-packed these are um, and we can see uh, kind of some cool interesting design uh, these um, I guess hair extensions seem to look kind of fragile but they've kind of made them as a part of the main body and the head would slip onto here what that tells me is that it may be a little bit difficult because of the interesting shapes that the heads fit on to be more secure and to be sturdier, stronger. Um, it may be harder to do some head swaps with some of these. So I'll have to see if I can find one of these that maybe has an easier option for head swaps. Um, so we've got yeah, various uh, bodies. It looks like there's kind of front half and back half. Um, we've got legs over here, legs over there, all around. We've got some of these different weapons. Uh, we've got, let's see, yep, this is the Luminate's kind of curved blade. These are kind of the really cool, like heavily front-weighted uh, weapons here. The two-handed glaives or swords. This one's a little bit different. So this one has like a longer shaft and a shorter blade compared to this one. Um, but that may not make a difference. And then on this sprue, we have our Thrall Master uh, with our two body parts there, his big cloak, his large headdress. Um, this is probably a different one. Um, his big head. And then we've got a number of what looks to be kind of extras. So his fan, yes. Um, we've got a couple of these throwing discs, some throwing stars. Um, etc and this creepy little arm that uh, 
is holding another bomb that's inside his kind of cloak. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Here, then we've got our instructions for building them. And, uh, yep, so we've got our 25, 28, and 32. And we've got instructions for building each of them with color-coded um, instructions, etc. So these should be fairly easy to put together. Um, maybe not intuitive uh, because there's some complex. They're really kind of looks like they're pushing some of their how they cut these, t you know, miniatures to their limits um, to get more on this uh, on the sprue for the size. Um, here, this is interesting. They've got the mirror blade with glaive and the mirror blade with dual swords. Um, I don't think you can do a ton of those. They have, like we've seen there's a set limit. Here's one where it's the mind bound and mind bound with double blades. So you do have a choice there as well. Um, but that looks like kind of the limits there and this shows kind of how you can hook some of these elements onto the backs and, and just add them as interest, visual interest and, and such. So those are the instructions and the sprues. And then lastly, in the box, we've got our uh, cards. And as we've seen uh, in some other uh, previews, each of these boxes comes with the abilities card in multiple languages, as well as in English. And then a number of their uh, unit cards with uh, these kind of extras for if you've got more than one of a kind um, and you want to denote which one you're applying wounds to, etc. Um, so just some really great art. Um, cool looking uh, um, pieces here. And then the abilities that you can see these, uh, you can see these on the game's workshop uh, store. Uh, if you're looking at this uh, unit, you can go take a look at these too. Feel free to pause it and take a look. Um, seen a few of these and, and things like the, the, the extra kind of throwing star or distance attack. So anybody in the army has this little extra distance attack. Um, this uh, has some really cool acrobatic leaps. Um, this uh, spinning somersault strike uh, just allows them to do a lot of really interesting and cool stuff, leap across the battlefield and be very uh, kind of crouching tiger hidden dragon. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to take a little look inside the box, clip off maybe one of these uh, and see what some other head swaps might look like. All right. Now I've assembled one of the mind bound and I decided to go with the one with the double ed, double bladed um, sword. And uh, mostly ruler cool, but there's only one option uh, for this one. And so it, it'll be nice to have it on the table, test it out. Um, minor difference, it has a two inch reach uh, versus the other mind bound. Um, and uh, with just one less attack and maybe um, uh, one extra point of damage. Uh, but cost five points more so not a big deal but it'll be fun to to kind of have that variety on the table now i've assembled it it went together really well um there's only uh three uh, four pieces with the head so far there's a fifth piece with the hair this is the only one i think uh, that has most of the hair unattached other than the leader the thrall master um and so uh but i and it, i gotta say the head is kind of growing on me um and uh I'm going to do some head swaps and comparisons, but I may end up sticking with this um, just for kind of the limitations of some of the ones that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to look at a couple other ideas. Uh, the first idea, because these guys are kind of from uh, Hish, uh, was the Kyric Acolyte heads. And uh, kind of this, they have very much this Kung Fu vibe. And this could be kind of interesting from the kind of ornate head. Uh, could be non-gendered, uh, so it could go on the men and the women, um, and just kind of have this more ornate top, I think could very much fit. Um, 
as you can see, the main issue with uh, to, for fitting these is going to be this kind of extra bit, and all of the bodies are going to have that. So we'd have to cut that off and then find a way to get this on in an appropriate way. Could be interesting. And then there's even one that's a little bit more ornate uh, for the leader. And so um, it's a little bird themed. Uh, but again, if I wanted to go a little more Zinchian, this would be kind of cool. Another idea I had was for the uh, 40K Sisters of Silence, the bald heads with, again, the kind of hair ponytail, uh, but they have a mask over their face, which also kind of feels like these guys, uh, the masked and uh, hidden identity. But um, I would have to work a little bit harder to get that uh, joint to look uh, seamless. Um, and there's, you know, to kind of maybe carve out a ball or cut this off. And that could get a little hard with this kind of sparse mask. Uh, just as kind of a farce, uh, I picked up a, a, a Bretonian helmet out of my bits box uh, to see what it would look like to have this big honking mask. And it has the, a different kind of crest similar to the Cypher Lord crests. But uh, obviously I think I'd probably get kind of annoying after a little bit uh, with these guys. Um... So yeah, yeah, it's an interesting idea, but not gonna work. Um, I have uh, kind of a ninja uh, hooded mask from some of the like Dark Riders, um, and can again kind of go on there as this lithe idea. The, I think the issue is gonna be it's just too small. It doesn't carry enough weight on this model, uh, which is designed to have more of a mask, a uh, big mask. Um, I kind of small like that. I have a. Uh, spite revenant head uh, if I wanted to go mask less and those are kind of, it's I love the expressions on these they're super vicious um, I use them for vampire heads um, but again it's pretty small it's not going to give us kind of the weight on the model that we would like to see given how it was designed um, and lastly I have some 40k um, Drukhari hellion heads uh, these are masked um, they're a little more sleek. Some of that technology can be kind of fit. And then it's got these big feathers on the back to kind of give it some more height and kind of body to it. This could be cool. Again, I would have to figure out how to um, match this kind of the mask to this very organic uh, throat, etc. And maybe I could by cutting a bit off of each, but um, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm sold on this one. Um, but I think um, that one might be my closest next to the originals that they have on here. Um, as I was saying, putting this together, the mold lines were very minimum uh, and a pleasure to clean. There is one mold line on this one that's right on the top of the thigh, but it's pretty hidden and easy to smooth. Um, these guys are have really dynamic poses. Uh, they're not likely to be my main warband, but... Um, uh, it's going to be nice to have the variety right out the gate. And who knows, maybe they'll win me over. Um, and uh, we're seeing a ton of battle reports uh, or a few battle reports with the Iron Golems and the Untamed Beasts out because they're in the box. It'll be cool to be seeing some battle reports with, uh, with these uh, models uh, in the coming uh, week uh, as people are getting their, their stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to have uh, some work in progress pictures of these uh, over the weekend. You can f uh, follow me on Twitter at Stone Monk Gamer or uh, check out check here for some more updates or over at www.themortalrealms.com. Thanks for watching and let's get some Warcry hype going.